Before we get into how to do this exercise, we really need to understand anatomy and what's actually going on with our body to know how to execute this properly. So your pec is split up into three divisions or three parts. You have your clavicular fibers, sternal fiber, and then we have the costal. This is really important because specifically with a dumbbell flat bench, we want a little bit of an incline to allow for that fully lengthened state at the bottom. And then as we get closer to the top, probably that last 10 to 15 degrees is going to be a lot more delt and a little bit of the clavicular fibers. So in this exercise, you may see me programming for simply not finishing that top range of motion because we really want to bias those costal fibers or the length and position of this exercise. While other times we really may be working through that full range of motion where we're making sure to finish at the top to get a little bit more delt and of the clavicular fibers too. The biggest thing with this exercise is making sure that your elbows are coming down at about 45 degrees. We don't want them directly tight to our body and we don't want them at 90 degrees from our body we kind of want them right in between and we want to be able to move our shoulders freely throughout the whole exercise so again if we are using this program to really bias delts as well as clavicular fibers or upper fibers then we may be working through that full range of motion a couple little tips if our elbows are at that 45 degrees our wrists are going to do the same thing you want our wrists to really be doing everything that our elbow is doing so everything should be at that angle another thing that's really important is just really grounding yourself through your feet all the way up to be able to use your legs for just added stability throughout the exercise. So as you're performing this, make sure that your feet and heels are driving into the floor, not tapping around or wiggling, but keeping you grounded and stable throughout the exercise. The last thing that's really important is just making sure you breathe. So how that's done efficiently is taking a big inhale at the top of the rep, holding your breath, and then exhaling as you get back to the top.